What's up guys and welcome to the Real Housewives of Nairobi episode 10 review stock recap. My name is Chiptoek Boyo. And this episode was Dr. Catherine's episode. Hey, Dr. Catherine ulifanya vitu mingi sana. Let's get into it. Uh, the show starts with the ladies at Wilson Airport and they're dressed in all white looking all glamorous and of course Vera and alikuja kama amechelewa kidogo for some reason akukuja 5 7 hours late because she do not want to miss the Malindi trip anyway uh Susan had organized a chartered flight to Malindi uh, the ladies get in and Vera could not fit on the plane the boobs the ass the headpiece was not helping Vera could not feel in this small ca- chartered plane alijaribu angles akajaribu front yeah, it was so funny but <laughs> plus the baby time in mesahau she could not fit on this freaking plane the 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 pilot had to come and adjust up with your seats for her to fit So the other ladies had already sat and Lisa says uh of course she doesn't miss to carry her 12 champagne glass with a champagne and they get into it waka pop is a your champagne wakaanza kukunywa and i could understand why that ka, ka chartered plane was so small unaona even when it took off uko ndani it had a kamatatu sound ona ile matmuze your plane ili kwa na sound hivyo haikuwa na car luxurious and i can only imagine the turbulence ya hiyo ka, ka plane uh, kadogo the ladies wame pop to your champagne apparently we well, have seven bottles mid flight dr catherine wanted to go to the loo Now, since this chartered plane is so small you have to land to go to the loo dr catherine hiyo kitu your bladder was not bladdering because she could not hold it alikuwa oh i want to go to the toilet the way my name it it's her i cannot but i'll insist na ilu yet there's nothing you can do on the flight you either pee on yourself ama land you go to the loo so they land um finally she got to relieve herself they get into this uh bus and they're taken to billionaires uh, i think it's a resort or a hotel one of the two and uh susan says dr catherine and lisa were going to sleep on a different wing and then her mine and vera and sonal are going to a different uh, side plus she got the naomi campbell room so architectural digest is this the Naomi Campbell house ama Naomi Campbell aliwadanganya mka shoot the wrong mka shoot a hotel as a house guys go to search to up on youtube Naomi Campbell house you will see billionaires resort so was she advertising billionaires resort does she own it is this particular room has because me see understand If it's my holiday home unless I've made it an Airbnb I am not going to allow just random people to come and it's not an Airbnb it's a hotel So now no me Campbell to Dangana Anyway after they check into their rooms the ladies uh, have breakfast and you could see your champagne had a number on Dr C because <laughs> she was tipsy already and i remember dr c saying you know me i don't get drunk and this is why i said it is dr c's episode because dr c you got drunk <laughs> dr c you did wonders from sleeping to dancing to wanting to hook up people this was all you this episode dr c i'm i'm, I'm seeing you watching this episode because i'm oh my god nili sema hiyo nili fanya hiyo nili Pompes, pompes your soup. And uh, the ladies go for cocktail after breakfast. Um Susan just wanted people drunk in this whole episode. Uh 
Lisa was not boarding akasema ha she is not doing hard liquor apart from wine and champagne no akajipeleka kwa spa she was doing some electrical cupping thing which is good when you go on a girls trip have group things to do and have individual things to do because unajua watu wengine when you go for a girls trip there are those ones who are always who always just want to drink sleep all day wake up in the evening for a nightlife and then kuna wale wa excursions we want adventure we want to do things we are on holiday but we still want to do things and then kuna wale wa beach na kuna wale tu wa kukula so know the girls you're going with na ikifika time yao ya kufanya hizo vitu zingine ditch them if your excursion chick you go do your excursion come back join them for a drink go sleep do things like your alone together <laughs> kama sauti sol then they were told they were going to marafa uh, which is a beautiful site ni kama the grand canyon but not exactly it it's just like a weird looking hilly stroke hollow place but it's beautiful so they went there and Lisa kama kawaida aka suggestia Dr. C they walk around they meet the ladies who come like the other ladies were like turned up they were like no mtupate tuko picking site we are not walking so they walk around they get to the picnic site and it was Vera Stan Vera again with her pregnancy lazima happy akakuwa kama Dr. C kwa plane i need to pee i need to pee akapeleka kwa bush because there is no toilet hapo hiyo marafa They had this beautiful setup of picnic and this Italian guy who was there for wine tasting and talking about the wine they were sampling uh, and while doing that he started singing he started serenading the ladies and ukiangalia okay, face ya Dr. Catherine alipenda sana huyo mzungu wa kiimba yes 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 Dr. Catherine who doesn't get drunk <laughs> Dr. C says she has to learn twerking by the time uh, she leaves Malindi and actually all the ladies can twerk except Dr. C Our Luya girl how can you not twerk <laughs> uh, Sonal also receives an a call from KK security saying her driver had fallen down from third floor of the building and he was not actually well so sonal again talks to ex husband who comes there and they sort things out they get to she actually says take the driver to avenue hospital the driver doesn't have insurance i think i'll say maybe specifically knowing how much money he she's going to spend on this driver uh, what else susan says that uh, she's currently since she was celebrating her 40th birthday she's on the best time of her life and mine says that it was nice she met up with susan and their friends and the ladies scream to the marafa gods <laughs> and then they go back to the hotel when they're back to the hotel mine says she's not going for dinner she has to take a nap and then she will be back later because they were having a pajama party and i think sonal was just dealing with the issues at home and of course lisa was first at the table says the ladies were late dr catherine alim jo- uh, joined her and even they started ordering and eating while choka kungoja the ladies funny thing vera came third She was late but not very late. And she had this big head details. Sijui ni kwa nini. <laughs> Kuingia kwa ndege alikuwa nayo head details. Akikuwa huko kwa Mombasa kuna nayo head details. It wasn't uncomfortable Vera considering it's a holiday. Supposed to just chill. And Susan join joins them and they just talk, start talking about men uh first dr catherine asked vera why are you with your bodyguards because her bodyguard was with her at the hotel she's like you know i have to guard my bum people have tried to touch my bum people have tried to do things so hence we have they say the 
bouncer at at the hotel dr catherine na pombe zake hiyo hiyo kitu ilikuwa she was not understanding and she did not or she did not want to understand she it was like so you mean your bum is here to guard your bum and yani aquanat aquanona essence ya bouncers of course even all of us we didn't see the essence of the bouncers but for the show vibe for the hype and what do you call the showbiz who a bouncer <laughs> a little story kwa hii episode anyway so the ladies continue and again dr catherine says uh her husband loved her because of her bum and her bum was good enough to just fit his junk adi nikaanza kufikiria u dr catherine alisema hivi kwa sababu bwana yake anapenda sim number 2 ama alisema hivi because the husband loves small bums ilitoka vibaya sana hadi ukiona Vera hapo akiadlib alisema okay alikuwa like this is just too much for me <laughs> uh, Susan said uh, you don't know the type of your husband unless you meet the woman he's cheating with at he, that is what many Nairobi people say and it's true atakudanganya you are his type until you see the woman he's cheating with you like do you even have a type or okay am i even your type Uh, Dr. Catherine continues and says uh, in Jewish community uh, you are not a Jew unless your mom says so because only your mom knows your papa which is very true only women know who the father of their child is the father can claim but the woman confirms yes it is my husband no it is not my husband it was my boyfriend <laughs> Dr. Catherine also goes ahead and says women should date wealthy men and mothers should allow their boys to date gold diggers because just that shows the the women are ambitious. Hey. Then where I can up akasema ati poor men can't get it up. When? How? When kwa streets poor men are the ones who are delivering. Hmm. Once a guy very rich men do not deliver. Delivering in bed poor men deliver. So you are very sick understand up with you because that's the only thing a poor man can offer. So they deliver well than rich men according to the people who I have spoken with. And uh what's her name? Lisa says that you can as well be the lady of the street if you're only dating for money. Uh, Dr. Catherine Nakasema even me uh, I saw my husband he was wealthy and I loved his money. Don't nakwambia Dr. Catherine hapo ulichoma. Hizo ni vitu ladies who say money security i saw the sense of his security he could take care of a family he was a responsible man he had a good job eh, dr catherine maybe that is what you wanted to say but things were not coming out as nice as you wanted to say because zilikuwa zinatoka tu izile valgan ile like kama una pesa mimi i can't date you <laughs> then they leave the table and it's now time of the pajama party of course lisa leona this is too much this group of women first they are younger second i can't keep up with them because watakuwa wanakunya either shorts um thirdly nikuva pajamas then kutakuwa na makelele maybe yako na specific uh time to sleep lisa skipped the the pajama parties so uh Mine came dressed up in a beautiful lingerie. Uh Sonald also was dressed up. Dr. Catherine I loved your cheetah outfit. Vera, I think because she's pregnant she's not loving her body that much now. I, or she just doesn't feel like showing it. But I like the lingerie you're wearing. It wasn't a pajama, but it was a lingerie. 
Uh, also, Susan came in with her akapajama piece. Then the ladies decided they're going to speak to play a specific game. You see these games that you buy on a piece, either it's a drinking game, a thinking game, like a, it, it's just like a card game. And I realized what Kenya was paying with one of Kiriazana, Vitu, that you have to do the most. Things that you have to think. Because from Nairobi to Malindi, mumekuwa mkikunywa, aya. Mukafika, had breakfast, continue drinking. Mukenda marafa, continue drinking. Mukarudi, dinner. And then now you're back to drinking. What were me choka? At this time, people have checked out, except Mine who had a nap and had too much energy. So, I make up, one reads what's in the card and then the other person answers. The ladies were bored. You could see, you could hear the crickets. And then Susan Ako, because it's her day and she wants it to be fun, it's also her trip. I go like, you know, this this game needs intelligent people. <laughs> Dr. Catherine, I may chew up on was it a sofa bed? Adi, she's she's snoring. <laughs> then all of a sudden they became lively. Dr. C, I'm in the layer, could turn up, up with you. I can kuja, can be a Susan. Hey, Susan, you know me, my group of girls call me. Uh, there's a name she said I've forgotten. I will hook you up. I will hook you up. And of course, with a rich man, because Dr. C and Apenda, dead only wealthy man. Uh, so she started dancing. She was actually the life of the party because other ladies were like, eh, Dr. C, now Lisema, you don't get drunk. Dr. C, you, you got really drunk. But you made the episode fun. We could see the other side that is not very serious. You know, you have seen Dr. C, the fashionista, Dr. C, the businesswoman, Dr. C, the woman, uh, the housewife. Now we saw the world, Dr. C. Okay. And the episode just ended with ladies and that kapajama parties. Then we got to see the recap. And we have had three good episodes of no bad drama. But I guess next episode, everything again, it's blowing up. When, when we saw the trailer, it was really arguments again. Anyway, guys, we are actually at the home stretch of first season of Real Housewives. And I think it's only one episode and then we'll have episode 11 remaining which is next and then 12 and 13 or maybe 12 for the reunion and the season is done thank you guys for always supporting the episode i see you guys please subscribe and share the link with more people to discover it see you guys on the next one